Welcome to Pullman, Washington. Pac-12 men's basketball is presented by Nextiva. We are just hours away from the month of March. Every college basketball fan's favorite month. So it's only fitting that you have every fan this year's favorite story in college basketball, Washington State doing battle against USC. AJ Cannell alongside Eldred Rukasner. So glad to have you with us inside Beasley Coliseum. What's been the formula, Eldridge? What's been the secret this year to number 19 WSU success? I think Kyle Smith got his team to buy in. Everybody's playing their role. Nobody's being selfish, hunting shots. And man, they have a fantastic team. I've been watching them all year. This is my sixth Washington State game. But now they're getting national recognition because they have a fantastic team. They have good leaders. They have an outstanding freshman who I think is going to be freshman of the year. The Washington State Cougars are loaded. Underrated team meet underrated player Isaac Jones just about as good as it gets nationally doesn't always get the recognition yeah, His numbers 15 points a game just under eight rebounds shooting 58 percent from the field But he's pretty much unguardable one-on-one -on -one down in the paint doesn't shoot threes at six nine in this modern era But boys he cooking people down on the block. He's got a beautiful jump push hook shot I said that right push hook because that's what it is, but he's a fantastic player eight miles away Kyle Smith stole him from Idaho. Hey, man, whatever you call it, whatever you say, I'm with you. Jalen Wells, he's been the guy that when his performance went on an uptick, so did the team. Well, Jalen Wells, his emergence is the difference, I think, for the Washington State Cougars. Injured early in the season, but, boy, has he been playing fantastic. Had 27 huge points against Arizona. He can shoot the three. He can put it on the floor. But more importantly, he can defend as well. A huge pickup as a D2 guy last year. How about USC? Things have not gone as planned this year, it's fair to say, for the Trojans under Andy Enfield. But they're playing better basketball the last few games. I think because they're finally healthy, AJ. They've had a lot of injuries. Boogie Cousins, Collier, uh, Morgan. Now they're healthy, and there's a team that I wouldn't want to face. They've got a lot of talent. Isaiah Kyrie projected at one time to be the number one pick in the NBA draft. So they're loaded. Don't sleep on them here tonight. They're still loaded with talent. DJ Rodman coming over from Washington State to USC. This was from September, this quote. Yeah, I think that's bulletin board material right there. So I can't wait to see what DJ does. He's back at home. AJ Cannell, Eldridge with Pazner with you for this big time late season matchup in Pullman, Washington, where USC is off to a 6 0 start. But Isaac Jones changes that for the Cougars. They got a shot blocked the last time by Morgan. That time he was smart enough to give him a little pump fake to get him off his feet. Well, they never played with each other because it's Jones' first year. Here at Washington State. They may have worked out together, though, A.J. being eight miles away at Idaho. That must be what it is. Very possible. Yep. As that rattles in for Jalen Wells. Yeah, I'll tell you, he's just been a fantastic addition for Kyle Smith's team. We are seeing some post play in the early going on both sides. Well, I'm seeing it here early why he's considered to be a first-round draft pick. You're impressed as Clough who comes in from Cochise College at the JUCO level and originally from Australia gets the layup. Look at Boogie. It's all up in Miles Rice. Miles Rice gets one off. Splash. And just as I say that, Miles Rice say, oh yeah, Elvis McCaslin will take this J right in your eye, baby. Yakimovsky splashes the three. Yeah, right at Kobe Johnson's grill, who's a fantastic defender. Yakimovsky straight on. He was following his miss. Saved by Jones. Page on the floor. Yakimovsky still pursuing, and it works out for him. That's a good job of staying with it. Andre Yakimovsky, who, as soon as that ball left his hand, he knew it was off. Ray Yakimovsky back to Watts now. Looking at the shot clock. Grips takes it, nails it. That's a beautiful shot. Isaiah Watts with the hezzy. It did just drop the absolute gorgeous dime for easy two. Watts for the answer. That's two Isaiah in a row. Watts filling it up in the early going. That's two in a row for the West Seattle High School product, Isaiah Watts. 10-0 run. But you got to credit Andy Enfield and his coaching staff. They obviously saw something in film. Miles Rice much advantage needed of. rattles at home. Yeah, you're absolutely right. They needed that shot. USC's defense as well, AJ. They're doing a fantastic job here on the defensive end. They're giving Washington State a dose of their own medicine. Look at that beautiful runner. Nice for Jalen Wells, the Division II Sonoma State transfer. But on the flip side, to go back to Isaiah Kyle, I see why everybody's so excited about him. He plays at his own pace. Doesn't seem to be in a hurry. But man, can he get to the basket and finish? 
Watts has had it going here in the first half. It continues. His third three. That's three in a row. Isaiah Collier went under the screen, left him wide open. The emergence of Jalen Wells and, of course, Miles Rice with the season he's having. And Yakimovsky with the Yakim. And that was a screen set by Isaiah Watts there to help Yakimovsky pour one in. Yeah, Washington State has enough time to get a good shot off here. Here comes Rice right to the rim. It's a four-point game going into halftime. Nice job of closing out the half by Washington State, who was down the entire first half. But as you said, cut this lead to four. Kyle Smith has to be happy about that. It's a nice job by Miles Rice, just keeping his dribble, attacking the rim. USC didn't want to pick up a foul, so they end up giving up the layup. Trojans led by 12 with a buck 35 to go. Since then, eight consecutive for the Cougars to create almost a brand new ball game going into halftime. From the night before in Atlanta, where he was getting screened earlier that day, for cancer and, and cleared again. His next screening is set to be sometime in mid-March, so they're gonna have to work around that as well. But Miles Rice, what a story, what a year he has had. He sets up Yakimovsky, who dashes down the baseline, and it's down to a two-point game. That's what he's gonna have to do if he's gonna play at the next level, because he's small for a two-guard in the NBA. As Miles Rice gets the ultimate shooter's bounce right there. Miles Rice, the seven-time Pac-12 freshman of the week. Two-man game with Jones. Yeah, you know sooner or later he was going to get it going. And he pursues Rice, who's stuck, splits the trap with the pivot foot. Here's Yakimovsky rolls in. Yeah, that was a great find that time. Nice ball moving by the Washington State Cougars, and Andy Enfield takes a timeout. Three-point ball game. It's the first time Andre Yakimovsky, he was from North Macedonia, First time his family, there they are, is here to see him play in person. Nice pass by Bronny. He was looking for Morgan, who's back in there with the three fouls. Couldn't connect. Yeah, Josh Morgan wasn't ready for it. And, and another, another, another splash one. by Watts. <laughs> Isaiah Watts, ladies and gentlemen, with a coming out party. Watts in rhythm. A good defense by Sellers. Yakimovsky, leaner, yeah. The big broad shoulders created that shot for him. He hasn't been able to get anything going here in the second half. He's still oh, stuck on 14 scoreless points. Scoreless in the second. He was 6 for 8 in the first half. 0 for 4 since the break. Rice to the rim. Yeah, Bronny took his eye off him, looked over his shoulder for a second, and Miles Rice just blew by him. Man, he's good. I've been impressed with what I've seen from him so far here tonight. He's 6'5 in sneakers. <laughs> Yakimovsky contested. And deep. He doesn't care. Yeah, he's feeling it. Got his mom, his brother, and his girl in the house. He's going to put on a show for him. I don't know who he's blowing that kiss to. Maybe then. You know who he's blowing that kiss to. His, his girl is over there. You know who he's blowing it to. He was pointing up, upwards. Yeah, he wasn't pointing up. He was pointing right there behind that bench. 10 3 run. A two the point Cougars game. have gotten back with it. comes again. All year. No. It's a tie game. Washington State can't take their first lead of the night. D.J. Rodman is swallowed up there by Jones. Oh, you're a lot of size on him with Jones now. Tries to wrap around. It is saved back in by Rice all the way ahead that? to Watts. How about that save? That was a big play right there. It was a save slash outlet pass as it worked out. And here's Rice breaking Johnson down, hanging, and finishing. This is the second time I've seen a defender turn and look for the screen. As soon as they turn their head, Miles Rice is gone. Just like that, boom, he's at the cup, laying it in. Got to keep your eye on him. This is kind of a hair on your chest game for USC. They can potentially grow from this opportunity as well as they try and angle towards a run in the tournament despite their losing record. Collier can't make it work inside. Another chance to tie or take the lead for Washington State. Yeah, this is a big possession right here. The whole crowd is almost standing on their feet. This match, Rice gets by Iwachukwu for the lead. Woo! Isaiah Watts, ladies and gentlemen, yak him! Oh, boy, is he having himself a ball game. The young fella from Seattle is putting on a show. <laughs> Shoot it high, let it fly, Isaiah Watts. 
He had never hit more than two threes in a game. That was his fifth on six attempts, a career high 18 for the freshman out of West Seattle, Isaiah Watts. And earlier on, the save by Miles Rice, who has not had his most efficient game with six turnovers, but he gets the save there, gets to the rim. That was a key basket as well. A nice job by Morgan for sealing his defender and getting the easy dunk. He's been sidelined with some foul trouble. Big basket there. Turnaround Wells. Hello, Jalen Wells. Welcome to the game. Yeah, he's been quiet all day, but now is the time that the now is the time that the real stuff step up and get it done. Let's see where USC goes here. He's been USC leading almost the entire game until now. Yeah, Boogie's been quiet. See if they try to work that ball around Isaiah Collier. Oh, oh bad man. You can see that telegraph the whole way. That's a huge mistake right there by a veteran guy, Boogie Ellis. No way that pass had a chance. Jalen Wills. Yeah, I told you, big time player, step up when the game is on the line. Jalen Wyatt, Jalen Wells has been quiet, 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 but there's been no bigger shot than that one right there. That might be the nail in the coffin for USC. This building has been quiet most of the night, but two bombs, one by Watts, one by Wells. That's a complete breakdown defensively, leaving Jalen Wells wide open. I mean, there's not a defender nowhere near him. Bottoms up. And it's a 10-2 run for Washington State, and you, I know you're not a numbers guy. The three-point line changes the math. He hit a couple on his last trip. That was his first miss in five attempts today. This to make it a two-score game again. No. Rebound, Rodman. No timeouts for the Trojans. Yeah, they've got to go quick. Collier's not on the floor either. That's the problem. Boogie Ellis is. Kobe Johnson in the corner. Under 10 seconds to play. Here is Ellis. Gets the three off. No. Rodman tips out. Johnson for the three. That's a miss. Game over. Washington State was down nearly the entire way. But they outlast the Trojans here in Pullman. Well, USC has some good looks at the end, especially Kobe Johnson. But the problem was... The best offensive player, Isaiah Collier, was not on the floor due to that defensive offensive substitution that you're talking about, and it cost him down here at the end. Take one more look at the final possession. Break it down, Eldridge. Yeah, they got the ball with enough time to get a good look. As we're going to see, Kobe Johnson kicks it over here. I think it's I think it's Boogie. Gets the screen and gets a good look. That's a good look for him. Couldn't get it to go. And then this one by Kobe is just wide open. Can't ask for a better look than that. Washington State dodges the bullet, though. That's actually interesting that it winds up in the hands of Johnson because although he is an outstanding defensive player, his drop in three-point percentage this year has really hurt them at times because he's wound up with open looks like that. He was at 36% last year from three, under 30% this year. As you see, DJ Rodman, it's all in good fun with his former yeah, teammates. You see DJ going down the handshake line. I would love to know what's going through his head right now. He left saying he wanted to win, and now Washington State is on their way to the tournament, and USC might be watching from home. He said he has undergone a lot of personal growth this year, but as a team, Washington State has grown into something special this season and a big bounce-back win against USC to align themselves in an even more favorable position going toward the postseason.